Okay, what are you, a drummer? Yeah. But don't adjust your color. We have a man sitting there in orange today because he's a Mets fan, right? <laughs> Mets no orange. blue, no blue. So, I got a cap in the car. You okay. want to go get it? All right. All right, so today we have another uh, beautiful... Sh you didn't even say hello. Uh, hi there, folks. <laughs> so it's... Well, he, he distracted me. And this is show 17. And you is thought, it? Yes, it is. You thought it would never happen. I never thought we'd last this long. Thanks. You're welcome. If you I saw what was going on before, this place would be... We'd have ratings that were unbelievable. You never know. No, I don't know. I don't know. Did yeah. they tape it? <laughs> All right. This is Nikki Penta, right? The one and only. Yeah, Okay. This is Rabbi uh, Newman, <laughs> Rosenberg, all right, and, this, <laughs> and our special guest today, and I'm not making up his last name. <laughs> First name is Will. What's the last name? It's Cracky, right? Correct. All right. And you have a son called... Nothing funny about that. You have a son called Bi Cracky? No. 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 Now, we're, now, don't think that we're talking something, you know. Right. No. right. We're not, because in the olden days, it was Bi Cracky. Okay, you remember... Yeah, okay. So, with inflation, you can't buy cracky today. That's why That's it's right. not yes. used anymore. <laughs> As the next president of the United States says, you're fired. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Don't you give me, oh, boy. I Don't you not. start with me there, <laughs> Liz Warren. Give oh. me a break. Did you see him last night? Now we're getting a little rough. Stop it. <laughs> okay. No politics. I, I know what to do with emails. She apparently doesn't. Talking about the wrong person. Talking about Hillary. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> so today, I, I would just, uh, it recently, uh, this is something unexpected. Watch it over there. <laughs> something unexpected. Uh, Britain, what, now, you see, we're not the only country that takes stupid pills. Right, folks? Apparently, Britain takes a lot of stupid <laughs> pills. And Scotland says, yes, they do. Right? And Northern <laughs> Ireland said, yes, they do also. They, uh. How did they get out of the EU? What's the EU? Northeastern University without the North on it? What is that? <laughs> what, European what? Union. Thank you. Not a labor union. And they called it Brexit. Because people are stupid in the media. Everything's got to, uh, it's exit, so they got to put a B and make it Brexit. Or Bexit, whatever. Or Becky. Brexit. Or Cracky. That's what they got to buy, Cracky. <laughs> All right. Oh, so, uh, the, the stupid thing was. <clears throat> First of all, the people who weren't living there couldn't vote. Brilliant. What did we think of that? <laughs> we probably do it. If you're living in the U.S., you can't vote. All right, here we go. All right, and the other one was, what was it? People, was it foreigners couldn't vote? Something strange like that? Maybe. As maybe far as I'm aware, is everybody, all the people that are in the uh, that are in Britain now that are from another country yeah. now need green green cards or visas to stay in Britain. Uh, but could England. they vote on the referendum? I don't believe so. I don't so. believe they could. So this is great. But, but I think I believe it was only citizens. Yes, if you're living. But but 70% of the electorate voted. So it was 52-48, which means I think it was so 36% switched got gets them out of it. They should have worded it. it must have a majority of 50% of the total number of votes. Mm -hmm. Because this is something major. And the other brilliant thing, do you agree with me with this? Yeah? Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir? Mr. Cracky? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah? Huh? What? Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, the other stupid thing is they did it and they have no plan. <clears throat> Excellent. What do you think this is? Congress? All right. <laughs> well, now the other big problem, too, is that all of the, the people that are, all the basically the immigrants that are in Great Britain now mm -hmm. are getting bullied by, you know, the British natives basically saying, now you have to go back to your own country and go great. home, you don't belong here, and we voted you out, and... This is really excellent. Yeah. And the guy who was leading the thing, he, he, he quit, right? <laughs> Where's your plan? I don't have one. Okay. All right. So there we have it. So you would, yeah. Our, our, you know, this is our this is current our, events topic. Our current events topic. We had uh, now, let's go to our special guest today. My bye, Cracky. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm not well, I'll tell you. Oh. You never were. Well, I never were. You're right, I never am, I'll tell you. What does it say? Oh. I, now, <laughs> Will, with two L's. Uh, this is from Household Goods. That's why he's got the iron shirt on. I volunteer there, you, yes. Well, of course, it's like here. Right. Uh, now, 
you, uh, your di executive director couldn't make it, so she, because she didn't want to be with me, and she called you in. <laughs> she you went well, to the bullpen, right? All right. Since and I'm a Westford resident, she thought that it would be a good idea of a Westford resident to. Well, she's not a Westford resident. I am. No, no she, but he. Oh, sorry, he is. Rabbi is. Yeah. Okay. Good. Bad <laughs> reasoning, but good. All right. So, <laughs> what, why don't you tell us about it? What you do? Well, it's an act in mass, right? Yes. On and the main, sign cannot be seen from the road due to the restrictions in Acton. No, you can see the sign now. Yeah, if you know it's there. Oh, sorry. If you know it's, it's there, right you can the, see it. It's right it. at the top of the driveway. Excuse me. <laughs> it's summer and the bushes are <laughs> got leaves on them, all right? There's a little sign over there. You know when you're... It's, as you go no, by. It's, it's a new sign and now it's bigger. That's bigger than what it was? Yeah. Holy cow. What was it? A little mouse? Well, was there, was, uh, there were other signs there. There was a school that was there. We took that sign down because we bought um, their space. This? We own the building. Oh, all right. We took fine. over their Good. space. I love the trailers, too. Okay. <laughs> so why don't you tell us what you do over there? Um, I'm also part, not only am I a volunteer, but I'm also part of the, um, the volunteer committee. And uh, we're always in need. It's a, um, a volunteer-driven organization. And what do you exactly do? What do I do? I work a couple times a week. No, no, no. no. What does the company do? Oh, what does the company do? Oh, you but they want to know this so they can deliver stuff. Yes. There's a guy in... Ashkash Pesgash, who wants to deliver stuff there. Okay. I've never heard of that area. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Nobody so what um, Household Goods does is they take in donations uh, that people, sorry about that, that people, um, it's okay. he likes that people make of household <laughs> items, furniture, um, household wares, sheets, bedding, mattresses, um, bed frames, and whatnot. Anything that a family could use to make a home. Mm-hmm. People who are in need and uh, who are less fortunate than we are, or um, you know, people like uh, veterans or um, homeless people, battered women, um, and people who just you know, some people who have uh, house fires, you know, have you know lost everything, and they will come to us and mm -hmm. and um, they go through. We have uh, about 320 agencies oh, that really? do human services. Are they all in Massachusetts, or they're scattered? Uh, scattered throughout Massachusetts. So you don't go into another state? No, no. You take stuff from other states if they wanted no. to give it to you? No. You, I mean, if somebody wants to drive if it, somebody from, if somebody uh, wants to deliver it from another state, fine. I mean, that's what I'm saying. If they're yeah. from, uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure. If somebody's moving or whatever, and they can't find any other place to to bring it or whatever, then they know about us. They can bring it to us. No problem. Yeah. But you don't advertise, right? Um. Or do you? No, we don't. That's a that's something. I well, we do we um I know we have flyers around you know different towns and um, we got it by word of mouth. We do a lot of right? fun. We do a lot of fundraisers. Yeah, it's a lot of word of mouth. And but don't call me if there's a fundraiser. I don't think that they have advertising <laughs> now. You don't call me unless there's a if there's a fun, just uh, come on, what? give it till it hurts and it gives some more. <laughs> okay, all right, that'll be my contribution. Is your guest or your adversary on this? Oh yes. Um, the stuff you give away. Yeah, the families, the families that, um, that go through the agency, they have to um, be interviewed, and based on the size of their family, um, they come one time in their life, mm -hmm. and they can rent a truck, or the agencies will rent a truck for them, and it could be you know, any size based on their family size. You mm -hmm. know? And they come and shop one time in their life, and they basically can pick and find all they need, you know, couches, dining room tables, chairs, um, dinnerware, pots and pans, knives, um, bed sheets, pillows, you name it, beds, and they can find it all there, take it all in that one day, and off they go and make a new home for themselves. It's a great organization. And it's, uh, they have a website. Yes. Uh, you want me to read it? Sure. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Household, uh, the, the, the World Wide Web, which goes to Cleveland, right? right. Yeah. It's a household, one word, right? Right. Goods, that's plural, mm -hmm. dot org, O-R-G, right? Yep. All right. And, and that, that, that will provide you with the scheduling of when to drop off items and at what time. And then um, when they have client assistance or client Well, people assistance. can drop stuff off. I know it's Tuesday, Thursday. And Saturday, Saturday yep. from nine to noon. Yep. And every day the trucks go out and pick up items from homes. Hmm. And they pick up hmm. from Acton, um, Westford, Littleton, 
Concord, Sudbury, Stowe, and Boxborough. They don't go to Chelmsford? No, it's too big. Huh? Too big of a town. Well, then you get more stuff, though. You it's see? You need me there. <laughs> what do you mean you can't come? <laughs> Decorate the then football. you pick up from Chelsea. You'll bring pick it, to it up. <laughs> I already had her knees. I don't need to pick this stuff up, please. All right. So thank you. Very, let's give the what's your name again? Will Will Cracky. <laughs> Let's right, right. What's your wife's name? Mrs. Cracky. Ellen Joseph. Ellen Joseph Cracky. Yes. No. Okay. Ellen. She was smart. She didn't want the last. She was smart. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a Cracky. Of course, you, you smart. gave her what an a, opening. What, what's you the matter have, with you? I know. <laughs> You have you have kids too. Edit that. You have, you have kids too. Uh, no kids. Two dogs, two cats. Well, well, yeah, because you own your own Those business. Are kids. Those are kids. What's the name of your own business? Will of the dog. Will of the dog, ladies and gentlemen. That's in-home dog training. Well, woof, woof. <laughs> All right. So, you don't qualify. What do you got? What do you? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Really, it's been a pleasure. Is that it? Is that all you want to know? Sit down. What do you mean? Oh, you're sweating. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse oh God, me. God. God. All right. You what can't are you... do that. I just Isn't did it. it. Hey, could you turn the heat up? Do we edit this? <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> but that does, no, does my laundry next Just like start this. with me, buddy. I just start with me. My washing machine crapped out over the weekend with a load in it. So don't you start with me, pal. That's too bad. Yeah, damn Your right it's too bad. The only thing that's going to be Do you have neighbors? No. Okay. <laughs> no, buy no, one dares. no one dares. <laughs> they don't let me in. Hey, can I do my laundry at your house? No. They hide. You done? Yes. Thank you. Go ahead. What do you have okay. today? I got part two of the four-part article. All right, that but hold I it. We have to. You, we have to have Doctor. Uh, what's your name again? Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Gee, I got it right. Damn it, Mr. Newman. <laughs> yes. Uh, so uh, you know, we have. You have two songs, right? Two songs. And uh, any, any of them have a Broadway beat to them? What are you, praying over there? We don't allow that. <laughs> the, <laughs> Too late for you. The, the first, uh, maybe. Huh? One of the two, maybe. Oh, good. It depends on how you, you. interpret. <laughs> oh, Wash oh, the oh. hand. Go ahead. You're going to hurt yourself again. I already did. Go right ahead. Who, me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Right. What was the first part about? It was about the The first program. part was about the program. The second part is about the program. The third and the fourth part is about the What's the program. name of the program? Venom Hunters. Ooh. What hunters? Could, it, Venom the Hunters. Lawyers. The Force Lawyers. Venom Which is hunters. no longer on anymore, thank God. Is that where they take venom and they uh, cure diseases with mm, it? No. That's what I asked. That, that's a rather lofty goal for this show. Yeah. Well, Not for this show. Not for this show. Okay. No, We're for, lofty that, for the show that it originally was. Right, Rabbi? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So the title of this article um, is Lies... Ooh. Darned lies, and venom hunter contracts. You know, I'm schwitzing here. He, he <laughs> swears a lot. I'm schwitzing, not. <laughs> I mean, sweating. All Just right. Just a fan. Uh, so. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Don't let me bother. Sorry, you. sorry, Nikki. Go right ahead. Oh, he says the household goods. Perhaps in part to reinforce the idea that the cast members were professionals who collect venom as their day job in every episode. Uh, the audience is told that the hunters are out to fill an order or contract for the venom from a certain number of snakes, or the snakes themselves for one team. For example, we are first introduced to Ed Chapman and Justin Bettrell in Dead Lakes, Florida, where Ed tells the camera, I got a call from one of the labs that they need three cottonmouths. I don't like collecting cottonmouths. They're feisty, they're aggressive, and if you're in the water and they go down, you don't know where they're at. But the lab needs these snakes for anti-venom. Ultimately, if the end result can be saving a life, we're going to give it our best shot. Uh, in each episode, once the snakes are caught, we get a quick reminder of the numbers, how much venom the snakes produced, how many doses of antivenom that, the, that amount makes, and how many lives will supposedly be saved. Uh, but to those who work in the venom industry, the idea that the teams were fulfilling orders for the venoms from three individuals of local abundant species, especially if the venom was for antivenom, is simply ludicrous. First sort of like off, the presidential thing. Well, you know. <laughs> First off, it's disingenuous at best for the show to imply that any of the venom collected by the venom hunters is being used to prevent the, those 100,000 snake bite deaths per year, which the show took every opportunity to mention. Antivenoms are made by tapping into a key component of the adaptive mam mammalian immune system, antibodies. The quick and dirty overview of antivenom production. First, venom is injected into an animal that animal's immune system then targets the venom toxins, producing antibodies, antibodies which bind them up and halt their deadly activities. 
Scientists then extract blood from the animal and separate out those antibodies from the rest so that when the person is bit by that same species, doctors will have antibodies on hand to bind up some of the venom in the victim's blood, helping shut down the toxins before they cause lethal damage. But every doctor doesn't have this, right? They have to go get it from somebody, right? That's coming up. They, wake up, sir. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. I'm not on. Oh, there I am. Hey, you are. You don't do it. No, you have to pay attention. Different species <laughs> venoms contain different mixtures of toxic components. So if you're bit, you need the antivenom, which was either produced using venom from what bit you or has been tested and shown to cross-react with that species venom. If you're bitten by a black mamba, for say, and you get rattlesnake, rattlesnake antivenom, it won't help at all. What do you mean I know that? Well, thank God. Black mambo? Mamba. Oh, mamba. Sorry, that's too feminine. Which brings us back to the global death toll. Snake bite is a serious and often neglected tropical disease, but it's not a problem in the U.S. or Australia where venom hunters were shot. Uh, less than a dozen people per year die from snake bite in the two countries combined. So ramping up anti-venom production for cottonmouths or copperheads won't do squat to cut down that 100 k figure. Well, this guy really, uh, you cleaning it up, or is this how he wrote? No, it actually says squat. Oh, see? see I'm surprised. Two squat or not the squat. They don't, have to kill the, they don't have to kill the snakes to get the venom, which is nice. No, yeah. They just give them a... They just take their mouth and they... Just, they kind of put them oh, over a cup over and... Put a cup with a rubber... You give them an Ativan and they quiet down. <laughs> I think that's what you need. Thank you. How long are we <laughs> this, um, this is page work? one. Well, I can cut down some cut of this. Cut down some here because we got to get Rabbi Goldberg okay. here. Okay. Well, I can finish reading the rest next week, too. That's no, fine. No, we can't. Um, to even imply, then, that the venom collected from, e from a few handfuls of U.S. rattlesnakes is somehow aiding with the global burden of snake bite is abhorrent and indefensible. Um, this like is Trump. an official statement from the company that produces the uh, only commercial anti-venom for... Uh, Rattlesnakes, copperheads, and cottonmouths. Um, they <clears throat> produce all the venom from long-term captive snake colonies. Uh, our policies absolutely prohibit collection of venom in the wild or from specimens that are caught and released. Uh, we would not use venom collected as depicted by the, by the Venom Hunters program in our production process. Um, regarding the acquisition and distribution of harvested venom and captured reptiles, this is from Authentic Ent Entertainment, uh, apparently, who puts on Discovery Channel. Um, we'd like to acknowledge that this is a complicated, intricate system involving myriad organizations and bureaucracies, the totality of which would not be easily incorporated into a television series. As we learned in our own research, the venom hunters we profiled in our series do not distribute harvested venom or captured reptiles directly to the large anti-venom producing firms, but rather to, for lack seconds. of a better term, middlemen, mm -hmm. who evaluate the seconds. venom and reptiles and select the specimens to be distributed to those firms at a later time. <laughs> <laughs> mutter to me again. <laughs> mutter, mutter, mutter. Ed? Ed? You can I make play. a suggestion? Make him finish it. Give him something to do. <laughs> can I make a suggestion? You want to play now. Why don't you let me do my two songs That's what so I was if there's going time to for her to present, That's what I was going she to can do it without you interrupting Calm down. her. I'm going to promote you to a cancer, but not at this rate here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. right, like that's all. They, I music. can finish next yeah. time. You can, will you go? By the way, uh, the rabbi will not be here on the 21st. Praise the Oh, sorry, rabbi. We were going to praise the Do you want to come back? Because you're the good board. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Bring a woof woof with you. Uh, I'm going to go around this sure, side. Go. Go. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, you, you can come back next time. All right? Continue to talk about household goods. Why not for phenomenal? Oh, for household goods? Yeah, why not? Why not? Fine. How old are they? My two dogs. <laughs> household goods. How old are they? Well, you know, you're 25 got, years old. Well, speak to, 25? Wow. He's, he's got the dog mm. thing on his mind. Woof. Well, she said, how old are they? I <laughs> figured it. They, yeah. No, I get that. I got what she meant. Okay. How old are they? How long has it been around? 25 years. You have? You don't look No, it. household goods. <laughs> How long have you been married? 22. Rookie. <laughs> All right. We have Barry Goldberg. No, we don't. No, we don't. We have Rosenberg. I'm sorry. Just change it. It'd be easier. Barry and Rosenberg. Now, you have two songs. I have two songs. And what's the first one? The first song is Genius. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. If the shoe fits, put it on one of your feet. I'll wear it, yes. Take my sneakers. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is uh, inspired by my wife. Be a genius? You'll find out. My 
Got my key. My wife thinks I'm a genius, and she should know the score. I play her everything I write, no one has heard me more. My mother loves my lyrics, she thinks I'm number one. Don't shake your head, my mother said, it's not cause you're my son. My sister and her children, my in-laws rave as well. With all these fans and clapping hands, you think my songs would sell. I know what you are thinking, suspicions always lurk. That family ties have closed their eyes, they must applaud my work. Well, how about Jim Johnson? The phrases he has penned were not related, not at all. He's just my mother's friend. My wife thinks I'm a genius, that's how I got my start. I play for people when I can, you ought to share your art. A listener may ignore me, or tell me get a life. I don't get mad, his loss to bed, he hasn't met my wife. All right, come on. I, I. Thank you. All right, you win a free orange shirt. Do you play at the this. farmer's market? I have. Why don't you tell me? I haven't lately. Well, why not? Start it again. Thank I think you. you should. Thank you. I'll arrange a thunderstorm and see what goes on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tornado. My next song is... <laughs> what? Tornado. <laughs> hush. We next song is yes, go right ahead. Thank you. Thanks. My next song is Irina. I R I N A. Is this written about somebody? Yes. Irina. Yes. I, I had a, a date with her um, many years ago before I married Marilyn. And she is a new age musician, composer, pianist. And uh, my experience inspired this song. What does new age exactly mean? Oops. <laughs> new age means it hasn't figured out if it's world music or, or uh, soft jazz music or what. I'm probably insulting it, but I'm not a big New <laughs> it's Age It's like ambiance music. Huh? Like background music, oh, ambiance okay. music. Elevator. Oh, okay. I leave it on anyway. my dogs when I leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is Irina. You belong on the show. <laughs> Give me a try. Thank you. 
All right, come on, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what? Point to your website again now that you're off. Um, <laughs> www.barryrmusic.com. Because so, it didn't make it into the picture. Oh. You want to lift that board? <laughs> Here it is, folks. Barryrmusic.com. Thank you. Don't, don't, we don't have hernia doctors here yet. All right, we're gonna, Oh, wanna, that's a shame! You want to go to Lowell General or Emerson? What do you want here? Huh. Well, General is a higher... Uh, is a higher standing in the military than Emerson. It's, it's a it's, Lowell it's, General. Thank you. It's free parking, too. Yes, it is. As, actually, it's a very nice facility. I know. I used it. Yes. Jeez. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have, too. And so is my son. Well, thank I, you. I like Lowell General. You, if you have a heart attack, go there, because they can operate right away. Oh, okay. Uh, can I just take your word for it and not have one and check it out? Yeah, but they won't operate. Let's not and say we did. Okay. All right. <sighs> you got to do it during a blizzard too, because that's what I did. Yeah, well. Because it makes it more exciting. Not oh, everybody look at can the be pretty as fun bridge. as you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was so great. what kind of snakes do they use for the venom collecting? Um, in this particular show, they were collecting um, rattlesnakes, copperheads, water boxins, uh, cotton mouths. Um, and then one of the teams went out to Australia and they were collecting um, king brown snakes and inland taipans and all that, which is, I'll get into more later, you know, on another episode, but it's just the way they did it was absolutely ridiculous. They, um, basically, the entire premise of the show was a complete lie. Um, half the, 90% of the stuff that went on in the show does not actually happen in real life. It's... And they actually ended up pulling the show after six episodes because hmm. it was just there was no interest in it. Mm. So, gee, sounds like the news. Well, no interest in it. That's long running. <laughs> all right, so you want y'all want to come? I'm an heathen now. You want to all come back now? You hear? <laughs> it's y'all uh, come hey, back. Y'all come back now, he's Will. He's talking huh? to you. He's talking yeah, to okay. you, Will. <laughs> that glare. You to you're going to have to put some powder up there. It's blinding me over here. <laughs> So I, yeah. I asked for makeup. You, we got makeup, but so you have some. Don't you? Oh yeah. You want some blush? <laughs> All right. So you, when do y'all want to come back now? Hmm? You here? Uh, whenever. Well, whenever. don't give me that. What do you think this is? We're not married. Don't give me that. <laughs> well, whenever. What? Oh, what time? Uh, well, when? When? Uh, two weeks. Two when, weeks, if you want. Yeah, sure. Run, Mary, run. In two weeks, right here in our stage at, at <laughs> Solomon. <laughs> so in two weeks, you'll be back. To talk about household goods? Why not? Sure. sure. You tell Sharon, and I'm really pushing this. Okay. All right, so we're back on the 21st of July. Don't forget, on the 14th is Bastille Day. And what was that? I'll come back. Let's say I'll come back in the beginning of September, because that's when our new uh, space is opening up. Oh, well, we're off. So we can promote that. We're off. Thank you. <laughs> done? <laughs> I think we're done. Oh, it'll be the uh, 20th. It'll be in September, because he can't figure it out. And so a bin is dead, but Cohen is And when it comes to weather, Cohen's smart. As New York as you get, his money's on the Mets. Which goes to show that Edge of Joe always bets his heart. You'll hear a slick review or two from Nicky. And can't there something, Berg will sing some songs. Fine when I recorded it. There's weather news and shtick, enough to make you sick. You'll be glad you came along.